WIPO's IGC wrapped up its 33rd session on March 3rd, 2017. The subject of the week was traditional cultural expressions, or TCEs. Vent, uh, what were the significant outcomes of the week? The session did what it was meant to do, two things. Uh, it revised the draft text, the draft articles on TCEs, and transmitted the next draft to the next session in June. Uh, it secondly uh, prepared an indicative list of outstanding or pending issues and also transmitted those to the next session. It was a productive session, uh, very well chaired by Ian Goss from Australia, and the plenary was well, very well assisted by two facilitators from Mozambique and Chile. What were the most significant developments? I think the three things uh, I would like to mention. Uh, the first is um, I think many of the delegations were satisfied with the session. Um, they feel that the text is an improvement on what came before. Uh, the gaps are now clearer, or there's a clearer articulation of the different views on the key issues. And many uh, at the end of the meeting stated that this is a very good basis for future work. Secondly, uh, TCEs, or t folklore as it used to be called, has been discussed actually for some 50, 60 years. There's a wealth of information on our website, um, and I encourage viewers to have a look at the website. Uh, we have enormous amounts of, of laws and case studies from around the world. The third uh, observation uh, is that delegations were very pleased that Australia contributed once again to the WIPO Voluntary Fund, and it's hoped that other donors will be encouraged to do the same thing. So what's next? The IGC meets again in June, June 12 to 16, and um, <clears throat> that session will also address TCEs. It'll also be a stock taking. Uh, the uh, IGC will take stock of the work the IGC has done in 2016 and 2017, and try to make a recommendation to the assemblies uh, as to future work. And that session will be preceded by uh, a seminar on June 8 and 9. Thank you.